Hey guys, Dion Taylor here. So Dynamics 365 just keeps evolving, right? And not just Dynamics 365 itself, but also integrations with other applications as well. So that's what I'm gonna talk about today. There's actually a new preview feature called Swarming, which is for Dynamics 365 customer service. So let me explain to you what it is, how it works, and how you can enable this. This is definitely one of the features that I'm really, really excited about. And this is currently in preview. So that means that you can start testing this in your sandbox environments. So you just need to turn it on and I'll talk about that a little bit later. But let's take a look and, and see what exactly this is, right? So this feature takes advantage of the integration between Dynamics 365 and Microsoft teams and like i said what what does it actually do right well this actually allows customer service agents to pull in subject matter experts to help resolve a case and this doesn't necessarily have to be people that also work in customer service right we we can set this up so that we can pull in any folks uh that need to help that or that can help that customer service agents so it's kind of hard to explain. So I put a slide together on this to kind of show you an example of how this could be used, right? So you can see here, Lisa on the left side, she's a customer service agent and she's working on a case regarding a customer who's complaining about a bill that they received. Now, Lisa realizes now that she needs some help from some subject matter experts in order to resolve this case. So while she's working on that case in Dynamics 365, she creates a swarm request. And in that swarm request, she can define the skills that are needed to resolve the problem. Now, by creating a swarm in Dynamics 365, this action is actually going to innate, initiate a swarm chat in Microsoft Teams. What then happens is Dynamics 365 is going to query the database to find resources who meet the skills that are requested in that swarm. And then when the resource or multiple resources are identified, an invitation is actually sent to those resources. The resources can then accept or decline that inv invitation and when they accept the invitation, those resources are then added to the swarm chat, allowing everybody to collaborate and to keep each other updated on the steps that have been completed. And then when the issue is resolved, then the swarm can be closed and any details on what was done in order to complete this or to fix this can then be captured as well. So now let's take a look at how this works in Dynamics 365, right? So the scenario that I just went through on the slide, I'm going to actually show you how to go through that in Dynamics 365. So here I'm logged in as David So, and what I'm doing here is, as you can see, right, they have a billing issue. According to the customer, the bill is incorrect, and he needs some folks to provide some help here. So what he's going to do here, he's going to click here on this create swarm icon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you can see here that I have my case details here on the left hand side of my form. So I can kind of see what's going on here. And then I can enter some information into this swarm form. So first, what I want to do is I actually want to enter that uh, swarm request, right? What is this for? Billing help is requested for Litware, right? And then you can see here that the billing specialist skill is actually automatically 
added and I'll show you a little bit later uh, why that's happening. And then obviously you can have some steps in here, but you can also put other information in here as well. Oops. So what he's saying, he says that he needs a billing specialist to check the bill because he does not have access to the billing system. If there's an if issue, then we might need to credit the account and we need an account manager to override and submit a new bill or a new invoice. And then we need a customer relationship manager to reach out to the customer keeping them informed. So I'm going to need, as you can see here, an accounting manager, and I also need a customer relationship manager. And that billing specialist was already added automatically. So, right, I entered all of the information here. And now what I can do is I can save and send this invitation. And what is happening right now is that that swarm record is created then it's also going to launch a Microsoft Teams chat related to this. And as you can see, that's what happened right here. And you can see here that some folks are already added to this swarm because Molly is the account owner and myself, I am Dave's manager. So that's why some of these folks are already added to this swarm. And then you can see here that we have reached out to three people with those skills. So those invitations that I mentioned earlier on the slide have been sent out to some of our subject matter experts. And then what they can do is they will receive that notification in Teams and then they can be added, they can accept, right? And then be added to that team. So let's take a look at that as well. So now you can see that I'm logged in as Jamie Redding. And here you can see that that automated message, that invitation, right, to that swarm session. So here you can see some information in regards to what I'm being invited to as Jamie, right? A billing help requested for Litware. Um, I need a billing specialist because I don't have access to the billing system. And right, all that information is in here. And then she has been selected because she is a customer relationship manager. So from here again, I can accept or reject. And if I click accept, you'll see on the left hand side in a second that Jamie has been added to that chat. And here you go here. You can see that, right? You can also open the swarm chat directly from within here. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that. And now you can see that I'm in that chat. And so now I can start communicating with David, right? If I want to see any swarm details, right? What am I talking about here? What are we working on? You can always click on this swarm details card over here, or the, I should say this, um, this tab over here and that will actually load the swarm details that you saw earlier in Dynamics V65. Also again with that case form on the side pane here uh, and then again we now also see that Jamie has actually uh, been added to that swarm and then there's some other two folks um, that we have reached out to that's still outstanding right so they can they can join later if they want and then of course, once this issue becomes resolved, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go back here to David. So here, once that becomes resolved, I can go ahead and I can close that swarm. And as you can see, I can also describe the solution here. So I'm going to say the, we checked the billing system all looks good. Jamie contacted the customer and explained the bill. I'm going to go ahead and close this swarm. And that was it. So that's really what that looks like in Dynamics V65. But of course, there is a little bit of a setup that you need to do as well in order to use this. All right, so I'm going to switch back here to be logged in as myself. And 
I'm going to navigate here to service management. And if you scroll down here, you're going to see this swarming using teams area here below collaboration. So that's where you're going to, to click on. Now you want to make sure that you actually have the embedded chat using teams. This preview also enabled as well, because uh, otherwise the swarming is not going to work. And what you can do here, th there's actually a couple of things that you need to do. Obviously you want to turn this uh, swarming on, right? So you want to do that at first. And then what you need to do is you actually need to activate the case form for swarming. So you can actually do that by clicking on this link and that will open that case form or that will actually open that table. And then from there you can activate that form. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how you can do that. So as you can see, this is loading my case table and then the forms to be specific here in Dynamics 365. And you're looking for this case for swarming. And you can see that this is active, but because I'm already using it, but what you'll do is you'll actually click here on the, on the ellipse and then you will activate that form, right? I'd, like I said, I already have it active, but basically it will look at some, something like this and then you will click activate form. Then you want to actually open up this form and then you want to publish the form. I'm just going to give it a second here, right? So all you have to do is opening this form and then you can publish this form. Now this, this, this form is configurable, so you can add some fields to it if that's something that you wanted to do uh, here as well. And then if I go back here, You also see here that you need to add and manage some skills. So you can navigate to skills. Let me just go ahead and click on that. You can see here that here I have a bunch of skills already set up so you can create new ones. And then what you can do is you can assign those skills to bookable resources. So you would need to go in order to do that you can click here on resource scheduling and then you can click on resources. And then from here you open the resource, you go to relate it resource characteristics because characteristics and skills are exactly the same thing. And then you can add those skills by clicking here on new bookable resource characteristics. And this is where you pick your skill and then you just save and close that record. And that's what the system is going to use, right? It's gonna take a look at the resources and all of those skills that are associated with those resources. So let's go back to customer service hub and then Another thing here, remember that I actually showed you that I started to create that swarm and I actually entered something that says like billing issue or something. Well, what I did here is this is really allowing you to have the skills pop up automatically, right? So I'm saying here, if the swarm request contains the word bill, then the billing specialist skill is needed. So that's why you saw that billing specialist role come up automatically. And then of course you can add data from uh, the related entity as well, right? So for example, if you're looking at the case name or something like that, right? The swarm related record is the case. And then you can say, you know, the priority is this, the case number is like whatever that might be. Um, you can set up that logic directly in here. Those are the rules. Obviously, obviously you don't have to set condition rules, but that's how you can kind of automate that. And then you also saw that myself, because I was David's manager and another person, because she was the account owner, were automatically added to the swarm. So this is where you can 
turn those off or on, right? So if you don't want the team admin or the account owner to be added, you can turn those off over here. Unfortunately, the manager, as you can see, cannot be ticked off. So um, at least for now, I don't know if that's going to be changing later on, but that's how it works right now. And then the last thing we need to do is we need to turn on and um, manage or sorry, we need to turn on that notification power automate flow. So when you click on this, this is going to open up that flow. And you can see here it, it, it was running already a couple of times, but you will see some connection references here. So what you'll do is you will click on the edit button. And then what you'll see here is the connections that you can enable directly from here. Again, I've already done that, so you don't see that here. But after you do that, you can then save your flow and then you can turn it on. And that's really all that you have to do here. Let me go back here. All right, so a couple of things that I want you to be aware of that I noticed when I was testing this. So what the system is going to do is it's only looking at the skills that are requested and then it is going to add uh, the least amount of people possible. So it's going to really try to add the least amount of resources while still meeting those skills that are requested for that swarm. The other thing I want you to note is that this is currently only available for cases in Dynamics 365. I'm sure that Microsoft uh, is going to expand this later on to other tables, but at the moment, this is only uh, enabled for cases in Dynamics 365. And the last thing I wanted to know, to mention is that uh, we're the system is only looking at the skills. It's not looking, for example, to see if those folks are actually active or available on Teams or if they're signed out or any of that. It's currently only looking at the skills. Again, I'm guessing that this is something that Microsoft might implement at a later date. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Nobody knows. But at this point, so they're just looking at those skills and that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe so you'll never miss another video again. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.